never stop improving. Spend an hour with us every month with our short courses to build your skills fast. Only available on the Josh Vegan membership. You're not gonna play every day at your best. And one of the big opportunities to learn as an agent is how do you recover quickly? And one of those things in recovering quickly is something we got to call positive task orientation. Now, what we understand with positive task orientation is it's just like some little things that you can do that all of a sudden make you play at your best. And for me, to get positive really quickly, there's like a number of things that are really easy to do. That might be maybe you listen to a piece of music, you go for a walk and get a juice, maybe go get a quick coffee, you call someone that you love, you text a good friend, you're in a position that you read a good quality book, you like literally quite quickly listen to one of our podcasts or maybe watch a video, but you do something that just makes you feel great. And this is an important part because to be an incredible agent, you've got to remember that people buy your energy. And is your energy actually worth buying? You know what? There is going to be a ton of things that are going to come at you. But one of my favorite sayings at the moment is this, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. And I think this is such an important part, knowing that when an obstacle comes at you or there's a challenge, that you know exactly what to do in order to be able to play and to get through it. Now, we've got a ton of different changes and conditions that are happening inside of the real estate industry. Only 10 weeks ago, we were talking about how we're going to actually find another buyer to come to an open for inspection. Rapidly after an election, things have changed in the Australian climate. All of a sudden, we've got a lot of buyers coming to open homes. All of a sudden, we don't have as much stock available and we're back out there having a prospect to really generate those leads for the spring market. Now, why is this an important part? Well, as an agent, you've got to realize that not every day you're going to win, that you've got to be starting to work that pipeline well into the future. And the only way to work that pipeline is to make sure that you're doing the individual actions on a day-to-day -day basis. So how do you do that? Well, ultimately, every single day, you've got to get back to routine. Now, routine is a simple thing. In order to feel great, you've got to do the things that get you into that position. Now, for me, the basics is about saying that when I wake in the morning, if I exercise and I look after myself first up, then everything else rapidly changes. So that could be as simple as going for a run, going for a walk, going down to the gym, working with your PT, but doing something about your body so that you can protect the asset. You're being in a position that you can look after self so then you can be better for others. Once I get back from the run and I'm in a position where I have some breakfast, I listen to some music and get really clear about the intentions for the day, then all of a sudden things rapidly change because all of those emotions that you first woke up with are now all of a sudden just gone. And this is what the secret is, learning how to get yourself back into track. Now, there are going to be days where you're going to lose a listing. There'll be days when you lose a sale. There'll be days that you'll turn up to an auction that you'll think it'll sell and it doesn't. Well, what do you do next? And this is the important part. You get back to doing what you need to do. Recently, I was working with an agent who's lost 10 listings in a row. And they said to me, Josh, what do I do now? And I said, it's really simple. You go and you find the one customer that needs you the most. And your job is to learn how to have really good quality energy and to tell the ultimate story of what you do as an individual agent in how you help them. And what we worked out quickly is that their entire energy was off, they were too stressed, they were trying to do too much stuff all at the same time, and they weren't thinking about how they were transferring the energy of how I make it easy for you as my vendor. So get really clear about what success looks like. And remember that things don't have to be heavy. Any moment that you feel they are, stop for a moment, collaborate and listen, have a quick look at your positive task orientation and get back to being you again, where you're good in front of the client, where you've got great energy and you're prepared to make great things happen. I really hope you've enjoyed our coaching tip and I look forward to seeing you next time.